four thousand cups. Watch this. I'm going to let you go, and then we'll go off on your own. And one, two. accepting of what you present to them. I think they're very discriminating also in what they perceive and what they see. They lose interest. So you, all the time you have to be focused on keeping their attention. Where adults might just go to sleep, for example, kids don't. And Nick, who was the narrator, said to them at the beginning, now this is not like television. There's no picture for you to watch. So you have to use your imaginations and imagine the picture that goes with this, which is actually, and he said it, he said it's much more powerful because you can conjure up your own image of what this hyena is or what the bird is that's going on. And I think what we are trying to do is to open people's minds and imaginations to what is possible with music. You can't talk down to people. When you're trying to educate them, particularly about music, it has to be at their level, and it has to be sophisticated enough that older kids are going to understand what you're getting at and that you don't lose the younger kids. So that's what I try to do. I try to make it acceptable to all the people who are there, young and old. But music education in general is lacking, and I think over the years, Music education is getting less in schools, which is really worrying. I see it, for example, in the number of people coming to join choirs. Uh, it's becoming more difficult to find people to join choirs now because the general musical education that people get in schools is not good. I think education is an important part of all our lives, and it's certainly an important part of the festival's life, and I think that Having young people come to the festival is very important, leading them into things so that in the future they'll be coming to more concerts of a different type.